This is the Music History Today podcast for September 20th. On today's show, John Lennon leaves the Beatles, Jim Croce passes away rather tragically, and a famous album cover is created. First up, though, on this date in 1951, the Frank Capra musical movie Here Comes the Groom premiered in theaters. In 1964, the Beatles performed at the Paramount Theater in Times Square in New York City. In 1965, the Animals recorded the song It's My Life. In 1969, John Lennon left the Beatles but did not officially announce it to the public. In 1970, a Miami court found Jim Morrison of the Doors guilty of indecent exposure after he supposedly exposed himself during a concert in the city. In 1971, Peter Frampton left the group Humble Pie. In 1973, Graham Parsons' body was stolen, taken to Joshua Tree National Park by two of his friends who raised a toast to him and then set his body on fire. Yes, that actually happened. And we discuss the whole entire thing on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped by the time you're listening to this. It's on this network, so please like, subscribe, and help out the algorithm, as they say. In 1975, entertainer Dudley Moore married actress Tuesday Weld. In 1976, the Captain and Tennille TV variety show premiered on ABC television. In 1979, Paul Simonson of The Clash smashed his bass guitar on stage at the Palladium in New York City because he did not like the crowd's energy. Thankfully, photographer Penny Smith was in the right place at the right time and snapped a photo of it because that iconic photo became the cover for The Clash's legendary album, London Calling. In 1995, Natalie Merchant started her first solo tour after leaving 10,000 Maniacs. In 1996, Bette Midler's movie The First Wives Club opened in movie theaters. In 2000, the TV show MTV Cribs premiered. In 2002, Mickey Dolenz of the Monkees married his wife, Donna Kintar. In 2008, the Farm Aid 21 concert was held. In 2012, the Chainsmokers were formed. In 2013, the group Two Set Violin was formed. In 2016, Mandy Moore's TV show This Is Us premiered. And in 2017, rappers Cardi B and Offset of Migos were married. In classical music in 1920, opera singer Enrico Caruso finished what ended up being his last recording session as he would pass away almost a year later. In 1938, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his piece Suite for Jazz Orchestra. In 1948, the operetta Magdalena from Hator Villalobos opened in New York City, and in 1957, opera legend Leontine Price performed on an opera stage for the very first time. In theater, in 1922, the musical Passing Show opened on Broadway. In 1978, the musical UB about composer UB Blake opened on Broadway. In 1987, the musical Big River closed on Broadway. And in 1989, the musical Miss Saigon premiered in London, England. In award ceremonies that were held on September 20th in 2004, Billy Joel received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released in the UK on September 20th include in 1999 when Ray and Christian released Blazing the Crop. Meanwhile in America, in 1963 the Tornadoes released Bustin' Surfboards. In 1976 the Stills Young Band released Long May You Run. In 1978 Yes released Tormato. In 1980 Ozzy Osbourne released Blizzard of Oz. In 1982 Bruce Springsteen released Nebraska, Dire Straits release Love Over Gold, and Poco release Ghost Town. In 1983, Renaissance released Timeline. In 1985, Kate Bush released her classic Hounds of Love. Clarence Clemens and the Red Bank Rockers released Hero. In 1986, Huey Lewis and the News released Four. In 1987, Jane's Addiction released their self-titled album. In 1988, the Bullet Boys released their self-titled album and Luther Vandross released Any Love. In 1991, Ween released The Pod. In 1993, Seam released The Problem With Me and Cilla Black released Through the Years. In 1994, Robert Palmer released Honey and Liz Fair released Whip Smart. 
1999, Jamiroquai released 1999 remixes and Yes released the latter. In 2004, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds released Abattoir Blues slash The Lear of Orpheus. And Brian Adams released a much simpler title, Room Service. Got to the point. In 2005, Motorhead released BBC Live and In Session. Bon Jovi released Have a Nice Day. Earth, Wind & Fire released Illumination. And Poco released Bareback at Big Sky. And in 2011, Pearl Jam released Pearl Jam 20. Singles that were released in the UK on September 20th include in 1969 when Diana Ross and the Supremes along with The Temptations released I Second That Emotion. Meanwhile, in America, in 1957, Buddy Holly did a twofer. He released Every Day and Peggy Sue. In 1963, Marvin Gaye released Can I Get a Witness. In 1982, Tears for Fears released Mad World, a classic song. In 1985, Simple Minds released Alive and Kicking. In 1987, Whitesnake released Is This Love, another classic song. Rest in peace, Tawny Katayan. Mm. In 2011, the infectious pop song Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen was unleashed onto the world. And in 2018, Harvey released I Wish You Were Here. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 20th include Ben Shepard of Soundgarden, Nuno Betancourt of Extreme, Rick Wollstenhume Jr. of Lifehouse, twins Matthew and Gunnar Nelson of the group Nelson, Alana Curry of the Thompson Twins, Twins, Chuck and John Panazzo of the group Styx, Sylvia Peterson of the Chiffons, singer Gogi Grant, Bobby Nunn of the Coasters, saxophonist John Dankworth, guitar session musician Eric Gale, Sweet P. Atkinson of Waz, not Was, Harvey James of Sherbert, Dave Hemingway of the House Martins, singer Katrina Stewart, rapper Zilla Kami, Singer Philip Phillips, Michelle Visage of Seduction, and also of a couple reality concert shows, if memory serves, and also a radio DJ, morning radio DJ, if memory serves, down in Miami. Anywho, moving on. Singer Grant Landis has a birthday today, as does Jack Lawless of the Jonas Brothers Band, singer Mary Lou, singer Yuna Ito, Mick Rogers of Man for Man's Earth Band, guitarist Peter White, saxophonist John Harl, singer Keith Semple of One True Voice, J-pop singer Nami Amuro, singer Sarit Haddad, singer Ayano Omoto of the band Perfume, Singer Mia Martini, singer and actress Monica Zetterland, banjo player Peter Schmidley, composer and pianist Frank Comstock, pianist William Capel, drummer Chico Hamilton, and jazz guitarist Bill Diarango. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 20th include composer Lodovico Agostini, who passed away in 1590 at the age of 56. Composer Claudio Saracini passed away in 1630 at the age of 44. Composer Giovanni del Turco passed away in 1647 at the age of 70. Composer Pierre Verdier passed away in 1706 at the age of 79. Composer and pianist Daniel Stiebrelt passed away in 1823 at the age of 57. 
Composer and pianist Jan Hatton passed away in 1886 at the age of 77. Composer Gottfried Conradi passed away in 1896 at the age of 76. Composer Carol Bendel passed away in 1897 at the age of 59. Composer Nikolaus Skalkatis passed away in 1949 at the age of 45. Composer Jean Sibelius passed away in 1957 at the age of 91. Composer Michel Brusselmans passed away in 1960 at the age of 74. Composer Henri Moulet passed away in 1967 at the age of 88. Harpsichordist and pianist Frank Pellick passed away in 1968 at the age of 57. Saxophonist Ben Webster passed away in 1973 at the age of 64. Singer and songwriter extraordinaire Mr. Jim Croce passed away tragically in a plane crash in 1973 at the age of 30. Musician Maury Musselison, who also passed away in that exact same plane crash that killed Jim Croce, also in 1973, the age for Maury was 24 years old at the time of his death. Composer Robert Herberiggs passed away in 1974 at the age of 88. Opera singer Johann Boskamp passed away in 1976 at the age of 83. Jazz clarinetist Carol Krautgartner passed away in 1982 at the age of 60. Folk singer Steve Goodman passed away in 1984 at the age of 36. Jazz saxophonist Jimmy Hamilton passed away in 1994 at the age of 77. Broadway musical composer Jules Stein passed away in 1994 at the age of 88. Pianist Paul Weston passed away in 1996 at the age of 84. Jazz saxophonist Edmund Falconer passed away in 1997 at the age of 59. Nicholas Trena of the group Link 80 passed away from drug issues in 1997 at the age of 19. Conductor Armin Jordan passed away in 2006 at the age of 74. Songwriter John Peterson passed away in 2006 at the age of 85. Singer Nappy Brown passed away in 2008 at the age of 78. The man who inspired the band name Leonard Skinner, high school teacher Leonard Skinner, passed away in 2001 at the age of 77. Singer and actress Polly Bergen passed away in 2014 at the age of 84. Singer and actor Jack Larson passed away in 2015 at the age of 87. Singer Sarah Dash of the group LaBelle passed away in 2021 at the age of 76. And Katherine Anderson of the Marvelettes passed away in 2023 at the age of 79. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 21st, when in 1993, Nirvana released its final album while Kurt Cobain was still alive, In Utero. 